how much of anything do you guys look at something like, uh, I guess, the lessons learned off of something like Concord mm. when you're looking at this? I mean, I know it's a completely different, you know, aircraft. Um, but are there lessons that you do end up, like, taking from something like the Concorde? Absolutely. I mean, the Concorde is, is such an inspiring platform. Um, you know, a question I get a lot is, what are you doing that's any different that hasn't already been done? Um, and the answer from a technical perspective is nothing. Uh, supersonic airplanes have been around since 1947 with a Bell X-1. And there was even commercial supersonic airplanes with a Concorde. But there's never been a privately, independently funded, independently developed supersonic airplane in history. Uh, every other supersonic airplane that has ever existed has been either part of a, you know, uh, a military end-use application or it was funded from, directly from the government, like Concorde was. We're trying to show that a small private company with limited resources can create supersonic aircraft, can create supersonic transport category, people-moving aircraft, and do so safely. Why is now really the time to make that happen and uh, do something that we haven't seen since uh, Concorde? So Concorde, uh, you know, famously retired in 2003. There's been no civil uh, supersonics ever since. Um, and Concorde was a design out of the 1960s. Uh, it first flew in 69, was certified in entry service in the 70s. Um, and it was designed with that vintage technology. We have so much more capability that other certified airplanes have brought to the table in the last 50 years modern CFD analysis tools, better material systems, better engine technology. So no one has tried to take things that exist in the certified aircraft world and reapply them to supersonics. And another like tenant of everything that we're doing is no inventions, uh, limited innovation, nothing, nothing hard, nothing that hasn't been certified already. We strongly believe that we can take technology that is flying on Part 25 certified aircraft today and reassemble it in a supersonic configuration. 